Information-based solutions represent the bulk of the digital technologies activities students will encounter. They will need to understand coding to make full use of them, and many automation and robotics activities are reliant on information solutions to solve problems in any complexity. But the collection, representation and analysis of digital data can take simple algorithms and automation devices and scale these to solutions that can impact millions. In the early years, we lay the foundation for what data and information is, gradually building students' understanding of digital information through the primary years and into specialised ways of using information in secondary. Just as with the need to learn a programming language, for those teaching 7 to 10, you will need to learn SQL and undertake a more comprehensive study than is provided in this course. Because once students need to move beyond putting all their data into one table, such as a spreadsheet, they will need to know how to construct a database with tables that relate to each other, and we call this a relational information system. And they will need to understand a query language that can draw together data from these different tables. But this will allow them to explore new ways of working with sets of data. How this data can be made available online, through websites and apps, and how they can distribute such data so that different tables can be maintained and stored by different people and in different locations. And to compare this with the unstructured way that we share information on the World Wide Web, resulting in the need for less accurate but still very useful search engines that display information based on the frequency of words. And we need to ensure that students at all levels understand how and why they can use digital technologies to access and share information online and produce ethical, socially acceptable, sustainable and safe solutions to their problems.